In this video, I decided that water buckets, lava buckets, and even milk buckets were too boring. So I created custom buckets that can drop some of the most powerful items in the game. Subscribe to see if I can beat Minecraft in three, two, one, Welcome to the sub club. Here's the comment of the vid, and as always, to be featured here, leave a comment down below. There are more than 20 custom liquids, so let's try and get over 20 likes on this video. Enjoy. Aww, look at the cute little horsey. Okay, don't walk over me, come on. But look at him, he's so cute. He's really excited for what we're about to do today, right, little guy? Oh, I can see it in you. And I can also see a nice village in the land ahead of us. And today, guys, we're gonna need this village because we're gonna have to kill the iron golem and get a lot of this water around. For the first time ever, I don't really care for, well, actually, I kinda do need the hay bale, so we will grab all of that so I can get food. But other than that, as I continue to peek all of these village houses, I don't care, by the way. I don't really need any of the chest items in here, but why not? Because if it does have a blacksmith, it might have iron. And, well, maybe I should stop caring about what villages have. And you <laughs> shall perish, Mr. Golem. Give me that iron. So that is five iron. And, guys, the reason we kill the iron golem is because we're going to need to make a bucket is because we're gonna need a bunch of water buckets. We're probably gonna have to make mm, close to maybe 20 to 25. We're also gonna need a lot of milk buckets as well. So I probably didn't need to kill the iron golem, but hey, it was kind of entertaining, I guess. But the reason we need them all is because today we're making custom liquids, and I mean any kind of custom liquid. Diamonds, gold, even nether buckets, netherite buckets, anything you could possibly think of we're making it into liquid today, and these liquids can give us crazy overpowered items. So to start this off, I'm gonna hop into this ravine, and we're essentially going to do, oh my gosh, look at all of that iron down there. Perfect, we're gonna have ourselves a gigantic iron mining session. Now we're gonna smelt it all into ingots, beautiful. And while it is smelting, we do have a mine shaft down here, so we might be able to find even more iron in some of these mine shaft chests if we can actually find any. I do not wanna get killed by a cave spider right now. I don't have any armor on and there are mobs everywhere. And of course, as I say that, I find a freaking dungeon. This is not what I wanted, but I am gonna go, whoa, what? Did you see that? The creeper just blew down the wall, so now mobs can't even cut. The creeper just protected me from more mobs. Okay, yeah, go ahead, blow it up. There was a golden apple in there, perfect. He just exposed the chest for me, but I don't care. Gonna break this spider spawner real quick. Grab that golden apple, now we have that going for us, but there was no iron in here, it looks like. There were, however, some buckets. Buckets are the move, guys, I'm telling you. And right here is a mine shaft chest. Oh, and there was a skeleton battle! And I had to clean up the kill. No, 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 no. I don't want to have to use my golden apple this early. Are you kidding me? But I'm going to have to. There's skeletons everywhere. Oh my gosh, I almost just died. Run, Grazer, just get the chest and get out of here. Why do I want this so bad? It didn't even have any iron in it. Are you kidding me? I'm just gonna grab a name tag because I don't know, maybe we'll need it at some point. I'm biting off more than I can chew, but there's no mobs here and we have an iron pick. Look at that, we don't even have to use the iron in our furnace for okay i'm gonna go back now it's probably all been smelted we're not even gonna make armor guys we're literally just making a bunch of buckets every single piece of iron we can use it's going toward a bucket now we have 13 buckets look at that and well I mean, the buckets are gonna be very OP, guys. Trust me on this. I actually do just need a bit more iron just because the first bucket, which is the iron bucket, requires some iron ingots and some iron bars, but this is the only time I would actually need this. So grab the rest of this iron and we'll go ahead and make those iron bars real quick and that's more than we'll ever need. And ladies and gentlemen, if we put a water bucket in the middle, surround it with iron bars and put iron ingots on all four corners, bam, we get the iron bucket. And this is the first of many custom liquids that we are going to be creating today. And hey, I'm not letting you get into this iron liquid with me. Are you kidding me? What do you even call this? Just like iron? <laughs> I don't know, but we're gonna put it down maybe right here. Whoa, look at that! It's an iron ore. But that's a liquid, guys. That is a certified liquid. And if we hop in, ooh, oh, there it is. 
is we just got a uh, pair of unbreaking level 29 protection level 12 boots <gasps> we're getting all sorts of iron stuff iron helmet unbreaking level okay so it's just all iron stuff we're getting right now we can finally replace those leather boots that we had on for so long so the longer i stand in this it looks like i'm just gonna get all the possible iron gear i could ever need like look at this swords leggings pickaxes you name it sharpness level 21 iron sword do we even need another bucket in this are you kidding me this is more op than i thought it would be so we now have an unbreaking level 18 oh my goodness look at that chest plate look at those leggings look at the boots we are well on our way and <gasps> i didn't even realize it dropped a netherite pick wait an iron bucket just dropped a netherite item with efficiency four on it must have been a really rare chance of happening we'll pick this back up because we don't want to lose our iron bucket just in case we do we're gonna put all the completed buckets up here and okay well bye zombie well it's because i have thorns on my chest plate and look at all of these we'll take some of the iron blocks just because why not maybe we'll need iron blocks at some point now normally i would just go and transition right to the diamond bucket from here because why not we're literally so op already ready with the iron bucket but i want to create the nether bucket first and the nether bucket requires that we get a piece of redstone and since we're already down here we might as well look for it and let me clean up my stuff and i mean i guess we can kill this enderman real quick is our sword as powerful as i think can it go oh, in three shots and why do the early enderman i always okay well there's another one right here i was gonna say why do they never drop a pearl this guy's running he knows how powerful my sword is and there we go first pearl of the day get out of here creeper they just need the one redstone and here we go we actually need the lava as well so <laughs> jackpot for the nether bucket because now we're taking this redstone we're gonna take some of these buckets here and we're gonna fill them up with lava now let's make sure yeah we have enough slots we need four lava buckets here now to make the nether bucket all we need to do is put four lava buckets surrounding a piece of redstone now i believe look at that a nether bucket that there is a chance that we could get netherite in here or even blaze rods. So that's why I wanted to make this so quickly because I getting blaze rods would be nice to get us progress toward the end. And why are there just so many zombies in these caves? And there are diamonds. The diamonds led me to the, okay, beautiful. I need diamonds to make the diamond buckets. So that's what we're gonna make next right after the nether bucket. But let's go ahead and throw the nether bucket down, the nether liquid and pew, look at that. It's like nether rack, really cool. It's just floats all the way down and let's see what are we gonna get from it when we stand in here is it gonna be netherite stuff give me the netherite if we can get the netherite then maybe that we don't even need the diamond bucket and oh it's just literally oh there's netherite that's a netherite pick that's gold that's a netherite chest plate yeah yeah we're good we're good the netherite bucket is the move this is why i made it and there's a blaze rod and we could just sit in this all day as it just pukes out a bunch of netherite goodies no that sword's going all the way down to the lava oh it was saved thank goodness what is on it what did we just oh it's just mending spite but dude this is giving us netherite stuff but yeah all of these netherite things are really bad compared to the iron stuff i'm wearing get out of your skeleton so we're gonna quickly now make a diamond bucket i'm gonna definitely collect this because i'll probably want to sit in this a bit longer but just want to see what we'll get from the diamond stuff so the diamond bucket actually requires us to come back to the surface because we're gonna need milk buckets for this but i just found chickens and i might as well take them out because well there's a bucket for that as well so give me all your feathers we're gonna need four of them and wow these chickens just did not want to drop anything give me your feathers and one more please yes and i'll even go ahead and kill you two but if we put a water bucket in and we surround it with some nice feathers we get the angel bucket and well angel's bucket what do you think we'll get from this but before i put this down all right give me a second we do have to find some cows to milk i thought i saw some near the village here before but i'm not seeing them anymore here we go hello little guys i just want your milk i'm not going to kill you just give me a couple milk buckets thank you so we'll put the four milk buckets in the crafting table put a diamond in the middle and boom you get the diamond bucket this uh, is the main event of the evening bam look at that that's so sick look at the diamonds just take over the land like are these sheep not impressed look the cows are even looking on they're like Moo. 
And if we stand in here, oh, we're already getting diamond blocks. Give me more. Yes, just give me all the items possible. Oh, just diamonds floating all over the place. We also have that angel's bucket. So we should put that down here. And you know what? I'll put it in front of all these villagers. They're probably like wanting something to happen because it's been so boring here. So hello, little villager. You want to go inside your hut? Sure. We'll go ahead and spill all the angel's bucket in here. Boom, whoa! Yeah, swim with the angel's bucket with me. I just got an advancement, and here's where the enchanted diamond armor comes, and elytras, and everything. Okay, now we're talking elytra. Yes, I will put an elytra on. Why would I pass that up? And we got protection 10 diamond boots. Unbreaking level 27, protection level 17. Oh, we're keeping that. Wait, we also got a pair of angel's leggings. So you can get the angel armor from this and look that just added a whole extra set of hearts to my hotbar So that's why you want angel armor if we can get the full set of that that would be epic And I think we can if we stand in here long enough It might be possible, but that might take all day So we're gonna go ahead and scoop it up for now and we'll say goodbye to all the awesome angels Okay, we did get angels boots all right, we'll put that on. So we'll put all the buckets at the top of our inventory. We do have a creeper about to blow us up. So we gotta watch out! And you know what? I will grab a diamond shovel from this pile because we're gonna have to collect some sand. Wait, in my inventory, I didn't even notice I do have an angel's chest plate. Should I put that on for now? Yeah, that adds it. Oh my gosh, I have four rows of hearts. Okay, so we'll just use that for now. We already have plenty of elytras. I didn't even notice that, but we're getting the sand because we are going to smelt it up, get the glass, and make bottles because we're gonna need to get empty bottles but also water bottles and well you could only see where probably this is going put the empty bottle in the middle we surround that with the four water bottles and in the corners we put those buckets of milk I keep confusing the iron one with the buckets of milk it looks exactly the same but that's the way it's done look at that bucket it's a witch it's a witch's bucket we're gonna put this down and we're gonna reap all the benefits from being a witch. Oh my goodness, that's so cool. Wait, oh my gosh, I have like every effect in the game while standing in here. And oh my gosh, it's just spewing potions everywhere. Instant health potion potency, 100 OP potion resistance. Okay, so this is just everything we would need if we ever wanted a bow. Oh my gosh, dude. I can't just get freaking flung up in the air. It looks like it's also giving us OP items. That's a pair of gold boots that's coming out. This is probably one of the best buckets yet because I could probably put this down near the ender dragon and just kill him by having all the powers from this bucket. But look at all those potions. So I'm gonna go ahead and woo, collect this bag up. The witch's bucket, by the way, ladies and gentlemen, super cool. And since we have it, we've gotta do it, man. There's a lake right here. <sighs> up, up, and away! Let's just make sure I land in the water. Oh gosh. So I just wanna ensure that even with 40 hearts, we never die. So I'm just gonna go ahead and make this next bucket, which requires a bit of gold and a couple of apples. And we have some gold right here. Thank you. So we'll take the apples, put it in with the gold, and we will put a water bucket in the middle. Do I have a water bucket? Yes. I have to make sure. And we get the healer's bucket. Look at that. It's like a golden apple. This is gonna keep us healed. So basically, if we go into this bucket, can I just pour? Whoa! That's so sick. It's just outputting notch apples and golden apples all over the place. Holy smokes. Okay, I think it just outputs anything healer, but dude, look at this liquid. Now we shouldn't have to worry about dying anymore as we still have our angel half iron armor on. We are, however, gonna quickly have an obsidian mining session. And we will grab these because we'll need them for the next bucket. Luckily, we still have a milk bucket because, well, we'll need that as well. And I'm just sitting here chilling in the nether bucket because I need a couple of those blaze rods and I think we now have enough. Yeah, that's five. So if we go ahead and put the obsidian in the corners, we put a milk bucket in the middle. I know you guys are cringing that I'm using blaze rods this early without going to the end but trust me guys it's worth it we get the red dragon's bucket and this skeleton's trying to push me right into the lava right now get out of here bro and you might be asking what is the red dragon's bucket and why is it so special and why am I about to be blown up by a creeper well the last one I don't know I can answer the red dragon's bucket question we put it down 
it's just a bunch of red mysterious liquid but if we stand in here it's gonna give us a bunch of op items there's a chance that something really custom and special will get outputted from it so come on it's a really mysterious thing here we go now it's starting to flow oh we got a totem of undying okay i will grab that normally i probably wouldn't grab the extra OP items because we are set. I'm just looking for one particular item to come out of this liquid. There it is! <gasps> oh, that is not a vanilla Minecraft sword, ladies and gentlemen. Let's pick it up and see what we can do with it. A Dragon Slayer's Blade. What? Okay, so this is now going to be our main weapon. That is so sick. What does it do though? Whoa! Okay, okay, whoa, 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 I don't want this, what, this is too much, this is too much, I don't want to kill myself by running into a ravine, wait, with these effects, can I jump the ravine? No, I totally failed that, okay, we didn't take fall damage though, we did not take fall damage, and we can jump boost up, wow, okay, and I'm gonna block over with diamond blocks, because why not, <gasps> what happens if I right click, whoa, Oh, okay, so it's just the jump boost things. If I was on the surface, this thing would send them flying. Sounds good. So it's a pretty good weapon. Not the best one, though. We do, however, need an infinite source of gold. So I'm just going to quickly go ahead and make the, uh, well, lightning bucket. Because what else would I make to get a lot of gold? And if we put this guy down... <gasps> whoa! Oh my goodness! What on earth is that thing? Oh, and there's two of them! Holy smokes! And there's multiple! And there's... Oh my gosh, there's millions of them! What? What the a lightning staff okay this is gonna take over as my main weapon now holy smokes oh my oh my gosh yes i've always wanted one of these to just be able to just oh my yes 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 get out of here mobs it also does give us a lot of gold which is why i made it but i guess the lightning staff spawning every three seconds is a bonus and the reason we need all this gold is because well i want to get really lucky and what better way to get lucky than creating a lucky bucket so we'll go ahead take a bucket we'll re-scoop the lightning bucket even though well <gasps> i thought that baby's on well, there's no rescooping it now. I just accidentally destroyed it. Okay, these weapons can sometimes be a little bit too violent. We'll just use the classic netherite sword to dispose of you. But now we'll put the lucky bucket down and look at this. Yeah, this should just give us a bunch of lucky blocks and we can open these. And I think there's just different kinds. So there's netherite lucky block. There's going to be a bunch of diamond ones. We can... <gasps> Look at that, we just got a rainbow one, and there's netherite ones going everywhere, but we can get netherite stuff, okay? I'm assuming if I just put the netherite lucky block down, it just, you know, yeah, it gives me a bunch of netherite stuff, so I'll just see, yeah, last protection four, not bad. It'll always be something netherite, but this is an OP lucky block. This is what I care to open. What are we gonna get from that? Woo! That's the lucky helmet! And it's got all these enchantments on it. So because we don't actually have the angel helmet yet, we'll cap off our angel armor with some luckiness. Why not? What else can we get from this thing? <gasps> That's the forest destroyer. Oh my gosh, I think the OP lucky block is just the custom items. Hold on. There's a witch's lucky block. Is this just more potions and stuff? Yeah, witches love their potions. Diamond lucky block is your diamonds, okay? We will take the forest destroyer, because why not? We'll open another one of these guys. So, <gasps> yes! That's what I wanted! Every video, I always look for this so that it saves me so much time. Give me the Eye Avengers. We even have two. I can even just brag and put two down and drop two of them. And what else are we gonna get? A Stronghold Guide! So just in case we didn't have enough materials to get to the end, we also have a Stronghold Guide, and now we also have 32 Eye Avengers. So we are good. If we right-click this, the Stronghold is this way. But... We still have more buckets to open. The first being if we go ahead and surround diamond swords with a bunch of netherite ingots and we put a water bucket in the middle, we get the swordsman's bucket, okay? And, uh... This one's gonna be pretty wild. And of course I find a desert village. This is gonna be a wonderful place to do this. Okay, so I'm just gonna pour it out right here. So essentially, oh wow, that looks cool. It's just gonna drop a bunch of swords, but there it is. That's the big one. The big baby sword over here. Look at that thing. This is called the hero blade and it has everything at sharpness level 100, except for knockback, you know, it needs to be humble. It stays at five. If I right click with it, it just, you know, it does a force field around me, makes sure that no mobs are ever gonna get to me at all. But if I come into this village and I left click with it, oh, here goes 
closed my computer. I'm sorry, village. There are OP items flying everywhere, and you are about to go. Ah! Oh my gosh, dude! So if I didn't get Eye of Enders before, I have them now. That's the hero blade, everyone. And there's the iron golem I was messing with in the beginning. And look, that's an amethyst geo just sticking through the walls. That's so beautiful. My computer is having trouble handling this. And it actually just exposed a desert temple on the surface there. Not that I would need one at this point, but that's just kind of cool. Now, with all the stuff we just collected in these caves, if I go ahead and use one piece of copper, a diamond, a piece of netherite, a redstone, we're basically going through every single thing in the game here, an iron, coal, and amethyst, we get the Thanos bucket. Say goodbye to the angel armor and say goodbye to the lucky helmet because we're about to turn in to Thanos himself. <laughs> Let me put it down and it's time for Thanos. Look at that, that's so cool. So in here we should get, yeah, the Thanos armor. It's outputting as we speak. Bam, you're looking at Thanos himself. <laughs> What better way to complete this outfit and look than to have a gauntlet? So we're actually gonna go ahead and make a bucket that will literally give us a gauntlet that we can use as Thanos. So the way we do this, we need two lava buckets just situated like this, put the two water buckets on the side and boom, you get the primordial bucket. And we'll just place it down over here and whoa, it's like blue lava. And inside here, eventually, a gauntlet should pop out that we can then use to, you know, combat the ender dragon. Then well, there it is. There it is. The primordial gauntlet. Look at this, dude. Oh my gosh. He just snapped the cow away. Just like that. And it actually dropped OP items onto the ground. I'm sorry, guys. Look away, but I'm about to do it to this horsey. Goodbye, horsey. Ow. And if I left click. Oh, watch out, dogs. No. It's a meteor shower of OP items. And here we are, stronghold time. Okay, where are you, End Portal? I'm just gonna come at the Ender Dragon with the Thanos technology and try, and it's right here. It's literally right here. We only have 59 items. And, oh, I can't even die. I can't even die. Give me that end portal right now. We're going in. And Ender Dragon, I hope you know what's coming to you. So of course, use the staff to take out all these freaking crystals. Get out of here. And let's see, can I just snap the Ender Dragon away? Usually the Ender Dragon doesn't fall for the tricks that work on everyone else. Oh! Wait, it glitched? And now the Ender Dragon is gone. I guess I've lost the challenge because I can't get out of here. Well, I guess you can't win everything as Thanos. I'll see you guys all again next time. Poor Ender Dragon.